Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted to be joined with undefeated professional boxer Kay Jimenez. He is one and out, and on his debut, he defeated um Paul Cummings, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Right. Ha um, so my first question for you is, how did you first get into boxing? Okay, when I was a uh, a young, when I was a little kid, I was a bit like naughty. Let's say, let's put it this way: I was a bit. My father was a boxer, but he never he never wanted me to box. But I was a bit naughty, and I was like too much too much of actions. Then my cousin, my older cousin. He stopped boxing and he was he's, he came behind my dad because my dad never wanted me to box. Then he became, came behind my dad and introduced me to this boxing club. And since then, uh, I was hooked to the boxing. That was when I was about 11 years old. 11 years old. Yes. So did you have an amateur career? Yes, I had a, a long amateur career before turning pro. And how many fights roughly did you have? Amateur? About 50, 55 fights. I've won about 47. I've I, I used to be a national champion back home four years in a row. I've boxed in um, uh, Arabs, Arabs Championship. I've got silver medal. I've bo I competed in the Asian Games. I've boxed in Ukraine two times, got a golden medal once. I've boxed in Turkey two times. In Istanbul, in in uh, Trabzon, I got silver. I got, I got silver and bronze. I boxed in Jordan. Yeah, I've, I've tried quite a lot with 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 the national team. Well, that's good. So you you were pretty good as an amateur then, by the sound of things. Yeah, I would say I have. I I was dedicated. I, I'm always dedicated to the sport. Yes, and um. For your debut, I, I don't think it, you could have performed any better because, mate, I personally, I thought you could have got him out of there. Oh, thank you so much. That's really nice of you. I'll be honest with you. I thought that I could have done better, but I'll be honest with you. It's different. Amateurs and, and professionals is totally different, different, different game. It's uh, the pressure, smaller gloves, anybody can hit. Uh, I'm fighting someone who's who's well experienced. I should have took more time. I should have I should have thinking. I should have think a little bit more. But yeah, I I believe I believe the the, the referee gave him all the chance in the world, which is fair play. He took all the He took all the punches out our throw. I should have worked the body a little bit more earlier. I start with the body a bit late. I should have start yeah. with the body earlier. But thanks for your opinion. I I do really really. Well, I'm happy that you saying this, and a lot of people saying that. But personally, I know I should be more professional, not amateur. So you think you could have done better? Absolutely, yes. I believe there is always something better to do. Always. Yeah, there's always something to improve on. But for, for your debut, mate, that that was a good start to the career. Thank you. Do you have um an do you have any idea when your next fight's gonna be? Yes, absolutely. I'm already booked for my next fight. I'm gonna fight five times this year. I sat down with my my manager and head head trainer Spence McCracken Senior. I sat down with him after the fight two days. Took me for the dinner. We sat down, and he gave me a scenario which is I I did I it did made makes a lot of sense. He said, "Okay, we're gonna." We're going to be out this year five times. The next fight date is 25th of Feb, which is next month, which is six weeks from now. And um, where, where is that? Where's same top? place, same venue, East Side Rooms. Yes. And um, anyone who wants to come and support you, uh, how much are the tickets? Uh, it will be 40 for regulars and 75 DIPs with a dinner. And ringside seat. Yes, and um, it'll be a good night of action with you um beating your opponent. 
absolutely. It's always going to be a great night. It's always going to be a firework. It's always going to be me boxing, fighting, taking someone to the trenches and try to take his head off. And I'm not, I'm not scared to take a punch and to give a punch. I'm always up for a fight. I'm always up for boxing. I like to mix it. I like to give. I enjoy people entertain it I, I enjoy entertaining people just I, I, I like to put it this way entertaining I find, the crowd yes please in the crowd that's when I when I know it doesn't matter what's got what's happening I'm taking the punch or I'm giving the punch yeah doesn't matter as long as the people are satisfied that that gives me the pleasure as well I enjoy it that's good mate and I'm is your I'm sure are you having how many more full rounders are you having? That if it's up to me to be honest, I will do any rounds because I'm always fit, I'm always ready, I'm always training. Even though when I have haven't had my pro license, I was ready. I believe I do spar in the gym eight rounds, then I do pads. You know, I'm I'm not I'm not worried about this. But my manager said. Okay, we're gonna have a few moves for rounders, and then we will see how things goes. I believe, as I understood, maybe one or two more, max two more would be four rounders, and then we're gonna go for the six rounders, and I'll see. We'll see from where we we take it from there. Yeah, is your manager Errol Johnson? No, he's not. My manager is a Spence McCracken. Yes. I'm signed to the Spence to the McCrackens, senior and junior, which is seen as my manager. And he set all the the training plans. And we got junior, which is his son. Like he's going with, with me for, through everything. So, so are they both in your corner? Yes, they were both in my corner. But the main guy is in the corner is Spence McCracken senior. He so he's is your head uh, coach. He is their brain who's managing my career and putting everything in its place. And how long have you been training with him for? I I used to live in, in London. And then I was introduced to them. I took a train from London to Birmingham 4th January to 20, 2022, which is last year, a yeah. year and 10 days ago. Since then, I never moved. I, I, they used to train at Canelli's. Now they got their own gym, McCracken's and Toysley. But we used to train at Canelli's. I came to the Canelli's, had my bag, trained with them. First session in the morning was pad session. In the evening, bag. Then the next day, I was sparring their boys. And I'm, for for a week, I was sparring, sparring, sparring. Who have they got and in I'll that gym honest. with you? Who, what other fighters in that gym? You, we have Jarrett Dewetri, we have Matt Windle, we have he's Commonwealth Swiggy champion, Craddock. isn't he, Matt? He's he's a Commonwealth champion. He's the Commonwealth champion. We got Connor Connor Goodchild. We have the Drew Drew, which is for for the British title a year about about six eight months ago against Sam Gilly. Uh, we Drew Brown. We have as yeah. well. Sorry, Drew Drew Brown. Yes, Drew Brown. Yes, yes. He's a good fighter. He's is a top. He's a top fighter. I, we had a great rounds between me and him. Great, great rounds. And I'm sure he'll be um English Brit, English champ, British champ very soon. Absolutely, yes. He, I think he's he's on his break now. He's he's he ha, he's having his break. You know, he for, with his family. You know, he got a big defeat last time. It was it was bit you know a boxer undefeated boxer. Do you know what I mean? Going yeah. all that way and then taking a, a beat, a lose. He lost. So sometimes they need time. But he will. I believe he will be back. And and I'll believe he could he could go all the way up. What about uh, Connor? Do you spar Connor? Connor Goodchild. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've shared too many rounds with Connor Goodchild. Top, top boxer as well. Very good, very, very good boxer. Top. Everybody in the McCrackens, they're top. My main sparring partner, but was for my last, for, for my debut, was Jarrett Dewetri, which is an excellent, a tremendous athlete. I've never seen, I've never trained with someone that in that level of athleticism like Jarrett. He's incredible. 
I've seen he's, him box before. He's good. He's underrated, to be honest. I believe he's is much is is underrated. He got he had some some issues in the past. I think they 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 mismatched him with somebody, and that took he took like step aside. But now he's back. But I you can I can tell you this, athletic way he's the best. I've never I've, I've ran with him. Speed, agility, dur durability, amazing. Everything training sparred with him. He's the, he's one of the hardest sparring. He's one of the hardest sparring. He doesn't get tired. He doesn't. He throw punches from all different angles, and he was my main sparring partner for for my last six weeks of the fight. So so that's what you want. So you are you in training camp now? Yes, I ne I never leave the training camp. I never. Leave. I was in Spain three days ago visiting my family, my mother, and my brothers. And I'm when I'm there, Spence McCracken Senior gave me my training for the for for the three days I'm there, and I've done them all. So I'm always I'm always fit. I'm always ready. I'm always on weight. I'm speaking to you now. I'm gonna fight on eleven eleven stone. At the moment, I'm eleven four. So if they get You're if they said you fight, aren't you? Sorry. You're pretty much there because the fights what fights made at eleven stone. Yes, I'm four pounds. I'm uh, if they said K, you fighting after tomorrow, I'll be like, cool, I'm ready. I'm I'm fit. I'm I'm on weight. So, and I'm willing to fight. I don't mind fighting. Is something I do enjoy. You know, standing in the middle of the ring with somebody can take a punch, and give a punch. You know, later in the rounds, both of us naked, sweating, blooded. That is something I do enjoy myself. This is the moments I want to live. That's how I count my life. When I'm in that ring, especially when I am the dominant, when I am when I am controlling the fight. So did you enjoy not... your last fight? It was too quick. I didn't enjoy it enough. I start enjoying it last round when I was dominant, hundred percent. When he's, I can feel he was he was out of breath. I can I can hear him breathing heavily, which is I knew I did hurt him, and he got nothing left. In that moment, I do feel I don't know. It's it's a bit weird, but when when you're in a ring, your mind is clear. You don't think of anything outside, and when you are dominant in there, you feel you are on the top of the world. That's how I feel when I'm the, the dominant, because I don't think in anything else. I don't think of my family. I don't think uh, any anything anything else. So I'm always con concentrating. I'm concentrating with the fight, and when I'm on top on the guy and when I'm chasing him with my punches coming after him I feel that I am on the top of the world and I'm sure you will be mate and it's the goal oh, wait is your goal to fight in Spain uh, I want to fight in Spain but my goal is if you want to ask me where I want to fight really there is three places I want to fight mate I want to fight in Vegas in the US, Vegas, and Madison Square Garden. I want to fight in Dubai, in Riyadh, in Middle East. And I want to fight in Tokyo. I want to go to Japan. Because I know this. the people in Tokyo, they do appreciate uh, uh, martial arts, boxing. These people, they love it. So I want to go to these four or five places, three different places in the world. I want, that's my goal. I want to go there and make a stamp, you know, make them know there was a boxer, his name is Kay Jimenez, and he's he's a Syrian and he came and he, he entertained us. Yeah. And um is what else so by the end of the year will, will you be by the well what what's the goal for this year? Try and knock on the door for titles late this year? I'll be honest with you, we didn't say anything about that. But if it, if it's if if it was my decision, I would say let's go tomorrow for the title. I'm that hungry. <laughs> but it's all it's all down to my manager. You've only it's had all... one fight, so we don't want to rush you into titles just yet because you've still got more fights to come. Yes, I know. But if you want you want to ask him for my opinion, I'll say tomorrow let's go. Let's fight any any man. Um. I'm not saying that out of oh, oh I'm I'm the best or this no I know I'm not I'm not I'm only I'm only still learning I'm always learning but this is this is how how 
confident or this is this is the way I think. When there is a fight, you can push to be on a bigger stage. I I am willing to take the risk. I don't care because as long as I'm fit, as long as I'm fit, as long as I'm doing what my managers, what my training is telling me, that's mean I'm ready. And that's I believe I've I've got the mentality to go for 10, 12 rounds of. I believe that I've never been there with the smaller gloves with someone who is trained to take my head off as I'm trying to take his head off. Never been there. It's all only, only sparring in a gym with a 16 ounce gloves with a you know with a like a, with the protectors and everything. But good God, yep. Yeah. Oh, okay, and before I let you go, um, my final question is: Do you have any advice? For someone who wants to be a pro boxer. Yes. Always, always know who you're going with. First of all, look for your surroundings. Who's who's around you is very important. People around you. Secondly, you must be disciplined. Never cut corners. Never cut corners. Road work. Very important, your run. I know people now, they've got machines and everything, and I go leisure centres, and I we have running machine in the gym, but road work is number one. Do your sprints on hills on a road. Do your long road, your long run on the road. It's very important. That is that is the main, main advice. People around you, your discipline, never cut corners. If, the, if your trainer said, Give me a 10, 10 push-ups, for example. You give him 11. You give him 12. And your road work. Always be on top of it. Five times a day. Five times a week. Never cut it. Never less. Yes. And do you also recommend going through the amateur route as well? Absolutely, yes. If you want to... Because in the amateurs, you would you would have an opportunity to box on a on level that you might not be able to get it in in a pros in a pros to fight someone who's who's world level you must be a bigger name yourself or or they rush you which is you're not ready to fight someone but in the amateurs I do remember when I was in the amateur first time I tr- I, I went with my national team I boxed somebody who is third like he's is the third in the world it was great experience I did I lost that 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 fight but after that fight, I was completely different boxer. And in the amateurs, is you go there as you watch me fighting, uh, constant punching, nonstop. That's it. In the in the pro game, I do understand now. It's it's less. You must know where to land when you must give him the chance to throw a punch, make make him miss and make him pay. Which is in the amateurs, no. In the amateurs, you must be on like dog on a bone. You know, it's like keep keep throwing, but. Absolutely. If you can go for the amateurs, have a few fights, know, learn, learn about, about, about boxing, about boxing skills, because it's more skills, it's more about techniques. And then, yes, but it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not necessary, but I do recommend that, in my opinion. Yeah. And um, thank you for your time, mate, and um, smash it in your next fight. Thank you so much, Sam. Thanks for the interview. You're really nice. I, I, I watch your videos on YouTube. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, mate. And um, we'll get another one after you, you go 2-0. and o. Thank you so much. Definitely do that. Keep smashing it, mate. Bye. Bye.